Hey everybody, Pete Greco with Productive Corporation here. We're hearing from many clients that they are busy getting their staffs working from home during this crazy COVID-19 pandemic. Many of our clients are already suited to do this or have a robust, robust remote workforce already, but plenty are not built for more than a few people to be working remotely. We wanted to share what we believe to be the priorities in getting set up and securing the remote workforce. I organize this in the order that I would be thinking about it, but depending on your organization, you may have some of these items rearranged differently or maybe not applicable because you're already 100% cloud-based or already have access or whatever. I'm going to break I'm going to break each of these lines into a few additional videos so that you can get a little more information on anything that's pertinent to your exact situation. Don't know where to start at all? Call us, we're available to help. If you are solving access by making RDP available as a direct connection, don't. This is a top security vulnerability. Make sure people can only use RDP over VPN. I just wanted to point that out. We've got a, a video on our YouTube channel you can check out to learn more about that. But number one thing uh, that folks are asking about is extending VPN capabilities uh, and securing that VPN. Uh, definitely. Uh, ways around adding additional VPN capability into your environment. We can help you with that. Uh, as you're extending VPN, and, and even prior to this, adding two-factor or multi-factor authentication to VPN adds an additional level of security that uh, you should be thinking about regardless of the, of the pandemic. Uh, next thing, uh, cloud managed endpoint. If you're not using that already, now is a great time to be thinking about that because you can get visibility into what's going on on those machines that are outside of the network. You can make policy changes, you can respond to alerts, you can do a lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of those cloud managed endpoint systems now can include patch management, uh, which is a great thing to stay on top of because vulnerabilities still exist and the hackers that are at an all time high. Talk to a lot of schools specifically who are trying to figure out how to send tablets or Chromebooks home. Uh, if they didn't already have a one-to-one -one, uh, initiative, they might be trying to add these into the environment. MDM protection goes a long way for providing the same kind of safety and security uh, to kids at home or workers from home that you had at the school or at the office. And there's uh, several different ways that we can help with this, depending on what your environment, what your specific needs are. Now, uh, if you're already using Office 365, Turn on two-factor authentication, and again, this is one of those things that uh, outside of the of the pandemic, this is a great idea to have on. You've got folks uh, uh, right potentially writing down passwords, uh, working from uh, uh, a potentially unsecured location uh, at their house, preventing access to O365 without that second factor uh, really goes a long way uh, to securing the the environment. Uh, for critical users, uh, if you're not using some kind of cloud uh, managed system already, like an Office 365, uh, desktop backup uh, may be critical, uh, especially if you have people who are working on uh, data that is hard to recover uh, or sensitive or, or uh, hard to replicate. Uh, you may want to uh, consider some kind of a desktop backup uh, solution uh, for those folks. Now, as you're adding capability into your environment, you're potentially making a lot of networking changes. Uh, you're really spending a lot of time helping remote users. Uh, SOC as a service can go a long way to help you maintaining your security posture, give you some backup with some additional monitoring of your security profiles so that you can get alerts to things that you need to know about. And when you're not responding to those, you're busy helping folks get their VPN set up, gaining access to their applications, uh, maybe solving some problems on their home machine, uh, even though those aren't your headaches, they're your headache now so that you can get those folks back to work. Stock as a service can go a long way in helping you maintain security posture and still getting uh, the rest of your job done. And then for some folks, uh, this is going to be pen test or vulnerability assessment. If you've been planning one, this is the kind of thing that you may need to push off because you simply don't have the time. This might be the kind of thing that you need to move up because you've made a lot of configuration changes and want to see where uh, any uh, newly exposed areas might, might be. And again, that's something that we can, that we can help with. 
Here's the things that you may need to improve or handle still, but these may not be your first priority. I do want to point out, though, as far as disaster recovery preparedness is concerned, if you're in a flood zone or a hurricane area or a tornado area, um, right, you can't forget about the natural disasters. They will still be occurring uh, this year and posing more challenges in dealing with them uh, because of the current state. So making sure your backup and recovery is still humming along or making the improvements that are needed should not be forgotten about, but may not be at the top of your list. Uh, you know, a lot of our clients uh, have small teams. They've got more to do. We definitely have not heard from anybody ever that uh, they got IT guys walking around trying to figure out how to stay busy. And I'm sure everybody watching this video is in that same boat, so we can appreciate that. Uh, but when it needs to go maybe to the bottom of the list, cannot be forgotten about it. Last thing on this slide could be the first, uh, could be on the first slide, depending on your organization, and that's vendor risk management. As your vendors and connected partners are making rapid network changes and improvements and uh, expanding capability, this could be negatively impacting you if they're connecting into your network, uh, if they're not uh, paying attention to security or uh, just moving so fast that they're not catching the newly created gaps. So this could be number one with a bullet for some folks, and we can figure this out, uh, help you figure this out for sure. Thank you for watching. Check out our videos where I dive into all these topics a little bit deeper. If you want to chat further on any of these topics, reach out to your Productive Corp account exec or help at ProductiveCorp.com.